Hey everyone, what's going on? This is uh, day 18 of my 45 day challenge. Um, so today was a uh, speed day on the bench. And then after the speed work, I did some hypertrophy stuff. Uh, so I got 230 on the uh, bench. I'm doing uh, pause reps and then I'm exploding up as hard as I can through the movement. Um, I got the black band, so last week I was at 225, this time I'm at 230. Got to go up every week, and I feel like my speed's pretty pretty good. So, um, pause on the chest and then exploding as fast. This is going to, um, you know, build up your strength and your power. That's what I'm doing it for. Uh, after that, I did 225 pause reps. You've seen me do this before. Um, I'm just seeing if I can get more. And I do, I get 11 pause reps at 225. So basically pausing on my chest, coming to a complete stop, and then exploding up. Um, it's good to be powerful through the whole range of motion. And by having it stop without that stretch reflex, you know, it's, it's good starting strength. So I got 11 there. Then I went to uh, three sets of dumbbell incline, started with 100, got 12 good reps. Um, really keeping the uh, focus on contracting the muscle the whole time. Going down so I feel my chest being worked. And I get about 12, and that's after um, a pretty intense uh, dynamic effort bench. Um, then I try it again. I don't think I get 12. I think I get, might get 9 or 10. Um, trying to give you guys a better view. You know, elbows tight to the side. Well, actually, when you're doing these, it's... it's uh, you can flare elbows out slightly. Um, that's what I do, so I hit the chest a little bit more. Um, but when you're benching, I keep my elbows tight just because it keeps your shoulder at a better position. And then um, after that set, I go to set of, uh, I believe that's 90. I started off with 100 for the first two sets, and then I get about 10 with 90, so I'm obviously a little fatigued. Um, but, you know, you gotta push yourself through it. Don't be upset if you don't hit a PR, you know, just do more reps or do more sets with a lower weight. After that, I do um, dips on the rings, which hit the triceps and also the lower part of your chest. And um, these are hard because you're unstable, unstable the whole time, and you have to keep your body weight above it, and it's it's tough. Then I went to some tricep push downs, arms at the end, tricep uh, rope push downs. Really working on just contracting the tricep. And then I went to easy bar curls. I did three sets of these each. I did three sets of the dips also. Um, so, you know, at the end of my session, I did uh, just some arms. Um, you can see my wife right there. We, uh, we work out or we train together and um, when we can, and we both push each other, which is really good. Um, you know, she has her goals, I have my goals, and it's good to have someone helping you out with that. And of course, I'm rocking the Orioles hat. Gotta rock my Orioles hat. Making a little bit of a playoff push right now, so let's hope they uh, continue. After a successful weigh-in, I, uh, I decided to have a cheat, cheat meal. I usually have one a week, and I saved up my calories today so I can afford to have this cheat meal. Um, so here's what we're looking at right now. Pretty, pretty good stuff. First of all, there's there's the wife over there. She's gonna join me on this meal. All right. First thing we got here is a large Papa John's pizza with two garlic sauces, pepperoni, um, bacon, sausage, and um, something else, some other type of meat. All right. Then we got chicken wings. All right. My faves. There's some blue cheese, some Pepsi. I love soda. And my wife's favorite um, dessert ever is these chocolate Hershey Dunkers, which is pretty much a shit ton of chocolate on breadsticks. Tastes orgasmic. And we're not counting calories because we don't care. It's our cheat meal. And um, that's what we're going to eat tonight. And I hope you like the video.